everybody in this video I'm going to show you how to add the added to cart event on your store so that you can build flows out that will target people that have added product to cart but might not have started an actual checkout process so in Klaviyo it's easy to set up an abandoned cart email that will target people that have added to cart and started the checkout process but then left before completing the order you can send them emails uh, but if someone has added a product to cart but hasn't started the checkout process, meaning they just added it to cart and then they left, they won't be included in your abandoned cart email. So you'll, you're will you actually missing out on these people if you only have an abandoned cart email running. Uh, and in order to set up the added to cart flow, you first need to set up the added to cart event, which I'm going to show you right now. So the best way to do that is... Uh, and Clavio actually has um, a guide on how to do it. I'm just going to show you how to do it quickly and easily. So if you go to help.clavio.com and you search for added to cart, and we're looking for, I'm using Shopify, so I'm not going with big commerce here. We're going to do create a custom added to cart event for Shopify. Click on that. And uh, one thing to note here is it says right here, you have to have the viewed product tracking installed before you can do this. And you should really set the viewed product tracking up as soon as you start with Klaviyo. I've got another video that shows you how to do that. So either go watch that video or go through this guide to do that. But you need that before you can use the added to cart snippet. So the way this works is this is a, a snippet of code. And this code is going to find your add to cart button and you can see here it says get element by ID and then add to cart and every time someone clicks on that button it's gonna run this code and you can see here it says click you know they click that button it runs this code that's how we track people that have added to cart uh, Klaviyo gives you this snippet it's this is working off an ID on your button on your store but then later on down here they say oh by the way if your button doesn't have an ID use this code instead. Um, I'm going to show you a different way to do it so that we don't waste any time here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the front end of our store. This is a um, Shopify store. This is the debut theme which is the default Shopify theme. Um, so the way you figure out which snippet you want to use is you right click on the button here. Try not to click on the words or outside the button click right inside the button you right click there and you click on inspect and that should bring up a window like this yours might look a little different yours might show up on the side here but you basically have to find this frame that has the button HTML in it and you'll see here the default um, debut Shopify theme doesn't have an ID on the button so button nothing no ID in there it has a class with some settings in there uh, so for the debut theme as of this video you have to use the class snippet to get this to work so we'll go ahead and do that um, I'll show you also on another theme here I have the Brooklyn theme open which is another Shopify free theme that that I personally like um, if I right click on that and I click inspect and I can see here's the button HTML this has an ID and it's it's this ID right here that would work with um, the Brooklyn theme right now so if you're on the Brooklyn theme you could use this snippet right here and then you change these settings like I'll show you in a minute and you add it to your product liquid file but we have the debut theme so we're gonna have to use this snippet of code copy that and we'll just come back up because after you have your snippet you gotta paste it into the product.liquid file so to do that we'll come back to our admin side click on store and we'll click actions edit code and product.liquid is what we want. It's open because I have edited it before, but you'd probably come in here and be closed. You could search for product.liquid up here, 
or you can just find it under templates click on that scroll to the bottom and this is actually the JavaScript for tracking viewed products we want to put the added to cart event right under there and now we have to this is going to search for that class on the button we got to make sure that it's uh, going to match the button that we have so we'll go back here <clears throat> and classes work a little different than IDs the ID you could just copy the whole thing and put it in your code snippet and it'll work classes are different you'll see there's actually three classes on this code there's BTN then there's this big class here then there's BTN secondary accent these are kind of just for design probably but this one right here is pretty obviously identifying the add to cart button you see it's product so we're on the product page it's a form cart submit so it's submitting the form for the add to cart so that's what we're gonna want to grab we're just gonna want to grab that class right there copy that go back to our product.liquid file and we want to put it right there instead of that one and we want to keep this dot in front of it as well that that dot says this is a class um, find it so now this code is going to use this to find that button and when someone clicks on it we're going to start tracking them so let's save that and now just to show you if you had used this um, snippet you'll see this is get element by ID that's a little more uh, a little more obvious what that does uh, and then it says add to cart there on the Brooklyn one you would have wanted to grab this ID this whole thing copied that and pasted that into here and you don't need a dot for IDs you just paste the word with the quotes around it and you'd be good to go so we save that let's go to our Clavio admin here uh, actually let's go back to the front page refresh this page and then click this add to cart button you see it adds it to cart and now let's see if we can go to our admin panel under metrics added to cart beautiful click on that and we must activity and here we are just now I'm logged in as the admin there so I'm supported at trydrop.com but there's the event I added to cart um, this product image name price product URL more data now that we have this event working we can go into our flows and set up a added to cart flow and I'm gonna make a new a whole video on how to do that because you want to make sure that you do certain things because you don't want to be sending everyone that's added to cart a flow as well as everyone that's abandoned a checkout process a flow too so you want to keep that in mind alright see you in the next video